Well, shutdown is still ongoing, and believe me, oh man, the shutdown is not going to end anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> here's what I mean. Ever since uh, December 22nd, 2018, so we're going right back to last month, the government's been shut down. Talk about a long winter vacation for a lot of these federal workers, huh? Donald Trump has shut down the government since that time because he wants a border wall. He wants that $5.7 billion border wall that is going to do absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I'm beating that uh, dead horse on this one. I am just bashing that dead horse in, trying to make it move. But you already know what I'm going to say. And believe me, if you've heard before and you want to still bash on me on that, hold, hold. People have argued that, hey, Obama did the same thing. Obama did the same thing. Why are you going after Trump when Obama shut down the government himself? Yes. Yes. Obama did shut the government down. Did shut the government down. But there's a difference between Obama's shutdown and Trump's shutdowns. Shutdowns, I say. Because it wasn't one shutdown, it is actually the third shutdown in 2018 that has been continuing to 2019. And you guys are, are, are harping about, oh, Obama shut the government down, why aren't you going to him? Well, let's review. Why did Barack Obama shut down the government? Well, Barack Obama shut down the government for 16 days, uh, <clears throat> and this was during October of 2013. The last shutdown before that was Bill Clinton back at the end of 1995 and 96. <clears throat> now, you're going like, okay, well, we just lost over H.W. Bush, right? No, H.W. Bush had one in 1990. George W. Bush did not have a government shutdown. It was fully operational even after 9-11. So while you guys are harping about, oh, you shut it down because, I mean, Obama shut it down. Yes, Obama shut it down. Obama shut it down. It's according to this. According to Wikipedia, it was shut down for 16 days. But now, <clears throat> this has gone far beyond 16 days. Oh, let's see how far. Let me calculate this for a minute. So I'll, I'll let, me, let me get back to you in a few seconds. So yeah, the government's been shut down for 25 days ongoing. So before you guys harp on me that oh Obama shut it down, bam! I gave you the uh, the proof. Obama did shut it down, but it wasn't as long or as expensive as say uh, this shutdown. All because Donald Trump wants a border wall. He wants a border wall because he's in fear of uh, immigrants coming in from land. He could be. He should be worried about terrorists coming from the air, because now TSA workers are are working very tired, very hungry, very poor, because they're coming because they're forced to work without pay. They. Posted on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, their paychecks reading zero. Zero dollars, zero cents. I'm not a government worker, so I should not be complaining. But at the same time, these are people who are working paycheck to paycheck, and they're not getting a dime because of the shutdown. Now, Credit to to Canada for a minute here. Canadian Air Forces, or Canadian TSA, if I would say so, have decided to offer uh, pizza to the peop to the TSA workers because they're the ones who are mostly affected. They're the ones who are being forced to work without pay. They are the essential, the essential workers because they cannot afford to lose their uh, well their security. They cannot afford to lose that security that uh, they're, they're guaranteeing the promise. But at the same time, they're forcing these people to work without pay. And they could be forced on the street. And they're going to like, 
Well, if you do not show up, you're fired. Fire for what? Not being able to sleep? Not being able to eat? Not being able to shower? They're going to smell like shit. Because they pe because they can't shower because you're pe you guys are keeping the well because Donald Trump is keeping their payments. Now I mean it was bad enough that uh, that that uh, there was a shut shutdowns affecting eight hundred thousand workers. Some of them are being furloughed, and yet Donald Trump wants a border wall because he wants a border wall because of the immigration. Immigrants from land. These federal workers could die. They could die of starvation. They could die of the cold. They could die of dehydration. But no, we're not going to give you any money. We're going to give you that. You want the want money? Give me that border wall and I'll give you the money. Now, of course, uh, the the price now is down to $1.2 billion, but Donald Trump is not taking it. Nancy Pelosi, the House, the Speaker of the House, and uh, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer have offered money to for border security. And nope, he wants a border wall that has been debunked as fragile as a piece as, as glass. It is weak beyond standard. If he wants that border wall, you know, it's not going to matter. I already pointed it out several times. But you guys are going to harp at me because, well, let's face it. Barack Obama shut down the border wall. Go after him. Fine. I went after him. Now I'm going after Trump. And if you still don't think I'm being truthful to, to this, well, let me give you the link below and I'll tell you that you guys don't listen to me. You might as well listen to this. If you don't listen to this, well then you are so dumb, I can't even talk to you anymore.